Hey guys, it's your Elvis Obsessed Weird Makeup Artist Frank Cat Sketch here today to do another makeup transformation video in memorial of, in tribute of, inspired by Rico the Zombie Boy. If you haven't heard of him, rest in peace. He passed away in 2018 in August from a fatal falling accident and I was always a fan of his not only in Lady Gaga's famous music video but when I first saw him in the iconic Derma Blend concealer makeup ad where he showed his true self uncovering all of his tattoos it was amazing I loved him in Ronin and everything he was in and it's such a sad loss at such a young age for him to pass away but I thought I would turn into him today so let's get started with the makeup. First of all we have to do something with this hair we need to put it back in a ponytail a low ponytail to be able to put it in a bald cap. If you know how to do french braids oh my gosh you're so lucky especially on yourself me and my boyfriend recently tried to do french braids and teach ourselves how to do it by watching all the youtube tutorials and it was so difficult so that's why i'm just sitting here right now just doing a low ponytail instead of a french braid i don't know why it's so difficult for me to learn how to do a french braid how can i do like crazy intricate things but not a freaking braid in my hair like a French braid that I feel like everybody could do. It's sad and pathetic in my opinion. I'm just doing a regular braid in my hair, very low. And we're just gonna tuck this behind our collared shirt. I'm gonna put a collared shirt on later, it'll look great. When I have it tucked behind my bald cap as well. I like to put some pins in my hair to get the hair away from my ears because we're gonna do a bald cap but we're gonna show our ears. I also like to use some hairspray especially around these baby hair areas. Okay guys, now I'm gonna put a ball cap on. This is the BGE brand. I like plastic ball caps better, especially for stuff like this. Just couldn't get a hold of any at this moment, but I'm hoping I could get a good, decent edge with this. Now I'm gonna cut my ball cap to the shape of my head and around my ears and glue it on. Make sure you don't stab your eyes. You can use cuticle scissors for this. Ball caps are probably one of the most trickiest things to do in the makeup effects world, especially on yourself. So be patient. Have faith. I've been so anxious for some reason before I do makeup transformations this Halloween season more than I usually am and I don't know why. Make sure not to cut your ears off. For my adhesive today, I'm using some Prosade or you could maybe use Spirit Gum or Telesis if you got coin, honey. If you want to turn into Rico, you could definitely just do the face makeup and skip the whole entire head. I think it'll still give the effect and people will know who you are. And I didn't even mention till now, I have a fake nose piercing. Smooth cat. I hope this application will go smooth. Make sure to not get this in your eyebrow because girl, you don't want to. He's got eyebrows still even though he's got tattoos and shave those off. We don't want to rip our own natural birth given eyebrows off my face. I like to start with the front and ease my way into the other parts. I'm gonna cut this a little back because it's way too close to my eyebrow on this side for some reason. That should be good enough. Woo child, this is hard. What I love about these thick sponges from the makeup effects stores, you can use the dry end to really press in the product. And this is where it gets tricky. Getting it over here and over here. We're getting into the level hard. See the dry end? This is the sticky end, this is the dry end. With the dry end, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our hair is not in the adhesive and go like this. Press oh, the ball cap into the skin. And out. <laughs> Sweet, bro. Oh, we got some spillage back here. I'm just gonna use a tan elastic hair tie to really get the back tied in with the bald cap. I know this is a cheating way, but it's because I'm wearing a collared shirt, so it's gonna work, especially if I'm on set. This will work because I'm gonna have this hair tie with the bald cap tucked into my costume. I'm just powdering this down to press it in and to make sure that my skin doesn't stick to itself. There, we have a semi-smooth ball cap. Now we gotta do something about these edges, which is gonna be hard. 
For the edges to hopefully conceal them in, I'm gonna use a red stipple sponge. You get these at effect stores with some liquid latex to hopefully get the bald cap to look like textured human skin and get rid of all the line, hopefully, will conceal the line of the bald cap. But I have faith that when I do some of the detail of his tattoos, on his face, it will help conceal some of it too. So even though you wanna get as precise as you can, don't get too nervous, you know? Just doing multiple layers too. All right, I'm gonna let things dry mellow. Once that is all dried, I'm gonna powder it just to see where my edges are, how they're looking. I feel like you can't really see your edges though until you put foundation on, which I'm putting on foundation on the bald cap using my bald cap makeup glue from Graftobian, the rubber mask grease paint. I'm gonna mix some shades from here to get my skin tone. Okay, I think I got the color that would match my skin kind of. To apply the rubber mask grease paint, I just cut the tip of my sponge that I used the adhesive on. And with the dry clean part of it, I am going to get this into my skin. Well, bald cap skin so the cool thing about this makeup is that when you do bald caps for a set makeup a job you really need to do multi layers of like alcohol paints and stuff to stipple on other colors to make it look like a freshly clean shaven head with shadow and dimension but with this you can do it flat because there's gonna be so much tattooing on it I just have to have it a skin tone base with not much other detail other than the tattooing. So for the rest of my skin, I'm just gonna use a Jelly Pop moisturizer and dewy primer, cause I want his skin to look natural. And what the products I'm gonna use for foundation is going to be the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I'm just getting a shade of foundation that matches that bald cap. I'm just doing a very, very light coverage. That's why I like the Makeup Forever because you can really control how much you use and the coverage you want. And what I'm just trying to do is to blend so it isn't like bald cap makeup and skin. All right, once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna start powdering it down with some translucent setting powder all over the bald cap and my foundation. Cause I have a feeling that I'm gonna do a lot of black matte eyeshadows. If you guys remember my Game of Thrones makeup with Khaleesi, where she was half White Walker. I did all of that with all matte black eyeshadow. And I feel really comfortable with the matte black eyeshadow to give me the depth and dimension I want for these tattoos. I'm just gonna get like a brush like this that's flat and rounded at the tip. And I'm gonna start outlining how I want this to go down how I want this to lay out. His tattoo is a little tilted and almost completely straight down the middle is where he starts doing the brain detail tattoo. Ooh, you know what matte black eyeshadow that I fell in love with lately that I wanna use is the Peach Queen, Peachy Queen palette. This is the Spirit Board palette. This makeup palette, when I did my Morticia, performed so well. I didn't even have to wet the shadows. Yeah, this one's working so much better. I've always wanted tattoos, but I'm too scared that I'm gonna change my mind because I'm one of the most indecisive people on the planet. So, I get a tattoo, I wanna make sure it's a good one. Honestly, I think these Peach Peachy Queen eyeshadow palettes might replace a lot of mine. Next, I'm gonna get a push liner brush, if I could find one, if I have a clean one. These kind, and I'm just going to do the detail of his brain. This is gonna take me forever and I started at midnight. That's the way I roll. And I swipe up like this to get some shadow of the tattoo where his skin is like that Frankenstein type look it has. And it has the shadow where it's entering his brain where it's like that cut off shadow. You hear that? ASMR of balloons. It almost sounds like a balloon. I, mean, I don't know how long this takes me is going to take me, but I hope the bald cap lasts. This is probably the best eyeshadows I've used 
even I've bought in those Visar and I have Natasha Denona and those are so like some of the most expensive eyeshadows and I feel like this one's better. <sighs> this is gonna take a while. He has bugs in his head right here. Bugs, can you believe that? That's so cool. You know what it reminds me of is creepy crawlers. I've always wanted that. If you guys ever, well I shouldn't say if you guys ever wanna get me gifts, I accept Legos, Elvis t-shirts and creepy crawlers. Yes, creepy crawlers. That was my absolute favorite commercial as a kid. I feel like just kids commercials for toys back then were so much like more fun. I hope they still make kid toy commercials because I feel like kids just watch YouTube nowadays. If you told me when I was in high school that I would be making a living painting bugs on my head and to look like men, I would think you're insane. I'm gonna get a blending brush that's clean, hopefully, and just tap upwards for the shadow over here. There's more bugs over here. So many bugs. Just tapping with my finger and some powder of the matte black on top of the brain. Definition and shadow. There's a lot of shadows on this brain. All right, I think we have enough brains almost. Let's do some detail of, he has like little bits. I don't know how else to call them except little bits. Like shadow marks on his brow area and temple area. It's like tattoos that were faded, but they also look like they're purposely faded. I'm so glad I have more than one push liner brush here today. I feel like a lot of companies don't have a lot of push liner brushes. They're like one of the most underrated makeup brushes, in my opinion. Look at that, I don't even have to put any type of liquid on this eyeshadow, it's just that black. So awesome. All right, now I'm gonna do the inner eye socket. I'm so glad he didn't decide to get rid of his eyebrows, so that'd be another step. You really want to make sure you look at your reference picture and get all these details. Especially for an iconic human such as this. He's like a walking art piece. I did a poll on Instagram to make sure that it's okay to do this makeup because it wasn't that long ago that Rico passed away and I don't want to like, you know, pay any disrespect to him. That's why this makeup, I don't want to mess up and I'm really paying attention to his photographs because, you know, I feel like I have to respect the dead. I don't want to like, you know, make anyone upset, especially if they were a fan of his or knew him. So like I said, I asked people on Instagram if it was okay to do this, if it's been long enough, and a lot of people said it was. I'm leaving the waterline, the skin color, cause his was that. Okay, now it's time for the mouth. Just gonna get some shadows. This video is not sponsored by this makeup company that has this matte black eyeshadow. It's just awesome. I just really like it. Now with the blending tiny pencil brush, I'm gonna take it at the end here and blend it very lightly. This is so hard guys. I don't know if I'm making it look easy, but it's not. And he has lines on his chin, like a crack skull line. All right, just filling this in. I just realized this color in this palette with the matte black eyeshadow is called No. So on point. I'm even doing in my ear with matte black eyeshadow because everyone could get black eyeshadow this Halloween season all year round so why not use what you have finally we're gonna move on with his neck it almost looks like animal vertebrae I'm just trying to do these stringy bit they remind me of the artwork from like the alien movies all the stringy bits here I feel like I could spend so like a whole half a day like a whole job shift doing this hmm Five years later. All right, now that I did all the detail, it feels weird to say I'm done with this because I'm gonna have a collar outfit that's gonna cover the rest of this. To do the zombie boy piercing here, I'm gonna get some modeling clay and just make it with two little clay cones. So just getting my spirit gum and putting it on the area I want the piercing to enter. Is it weird to hear a feminine voice coming out of this face? Come on. Okay, while that is drying, I am going to get some flexible sealer on my little tiny, you know, clay formations on my bridge of my nose. Do about two layers, let them dry. Once we have two layers of the flexible sealer on that little piece, we are going to paint these with some silver paint. This is just that gra Graftobian like metal powder has a mixing liquid with it. So, you could be done here, but I want to dress this up a little bit and put on a button-down shirt. 
because Rico, the zombie, always has an interesting style to him and flair. And on top of it, I'm going to put a little bling, hopefully without destroying my face and makeup. Ugh. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed me turning into Rico, zombie boy. This was pretty hard to do, but you just need some matte black eyeshadow, foundation. You don't really need a ball cap, you can just use your hair. Unless you want to be real for real, it will take a long time. This took me 2 hours and 45 minutes to complete. But it was so worth it. This would be such a great Halloween costume. If you guys do this makeup or any makeup from my YouTube channel, please post it on Instagram and tag me, hashtag catsketch. I would love to see it. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos to come. I do two videos a week here on this channel. Rest in peace to this beautiful guy who is an amazing piece of artwork, an actor and performer, model. He did it all. All right, now it's time to take this off. Ow. <laughs> Ugh, that's a fake nose ring. There. It's time to break free. It's time to break free. Ugh. This was a shirt I wore when I turned into Trump. <laughs> and I think Hillary Clinton, too. All right, how do we take this off? Oh, yeah, you need isopropyl mirror state. Unfortunately, I hate this stuff. What this does, kids, it takes off all of the makeup. You ready? Oh, I feel so amazing. Uh, hey! This is what drag does to your brain, kids. What the isopropyl mirror is going to do, it's going to break up that adhesive so it doesn't pull too hard on my skin, hopefully. Especially on the neck. My neck is super sensitive. I'm actually allergic to telesis. Just on my neck, though. Everywhere else, it's fine. Gotta get the makeup off my face so I can shower. It is like three in the morning. Thank you guys so much for the support. Like this video if you want to see more makeup transformations for Halloween. I appreciate all the likes and shares and comments and views. You guys keep me sane during this time of year and all year, honestly. If it wasn't for you, I would probably go crazy. So I am gonna wash this off, this dark ring around my neck. Thank you all so much. Again, check out Peachy Queen for the eyeshadow. So good. It's just, just such good eyeshadows. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video, creators. Bye!